tonight on Iron Chef America. 47-time champion Chef Lee takes on the challenger, <laughs> Chef Wolfgang. If you want meat that just melts in your mouth, make sure and play with your meat for a good 15 minutes. But don't pack it too tight or your meat will get too stiff. It looks like Wolfgang's strategy is to sit back and let the George Foreman work its magic. Wow, that was a quick meal, but let's wait and see what the judges have to say. Now Chef Lee takes the kitchen floor with his trusty briefcase. My briefcase comes with the finest tools from China. I bought it from the Chinese black market. Um, it was hard to get over here though due to multiple metal detectors, but totally worth the trip. It looks as though Chef Lee is working on what seems to be a stew or soup of some sort. I uh, really like the nice array of spices. Can we get a shot of that? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh-oh, here comes the main ingredient. Chocolate syrup. The challenger does not stand a chance because I am top shelf, as you can see with my hat. The taller the hat, the better the chef is. He doesn't even have a hat. <laughs> chef Lee makes it known that size matters in his homeland. But in this setting, taste will be the deciding factor. Yeah, uh, I thought uh, the Challenger's dish was far superior. But once it hit my lips, I just wanted to have another bite. Yeah, I'd have to agree with my colleague on that one. Um, I picked the burger over the soup, um, so I give my vote to the burger. I didn't even want to try that, so I picked the burger. In response to the dethroning of Chef Lee, Chef Wolfgang accepts the coveted Champion's hat, Dane Hughes, DU27. It's the remix to ignition, hot and fresh out the kitchen. Mama rolling that body, got every man in here wishing. Sipping on coke and rum, I'm like, so what, I'm drunk. It's the freaking weekend, baby, I'm about to have me some fun. Bounce, 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 bounce.